Hi YouTube. I wanted to do a quick uh, video on these uh, on the eBay 10% coupons. And uh, first of all, I want to make sure that your account is actually set up to receive these. You know, a lot of people when they set up something like an eBay account may not want to see any spam. Okay, so they actually uh, neglect to uh, set it up so that they can receive these types of uh, promotions. And in fact, a friend of mine actually did just that. Okay, so that's first and foremost. Now, why is this important? I mean, look, it, it's you know, it's a great opportunity to buy gold, uh, fractional gold at spot or a full one ounce coin below spot, okay? I mean, just simply put, you know, to use a golf analogy, uh, it's using every club in my bag. If eBay wants to subsidize the, the price of my stack, I'm more than happy to let them do that. But how do they determine who gets these coupons? Is it completely random? Do you do something to earn it? Okay, and uh, I'd like to kind of go over, you know, um, why I personally think that uh, I've been pretty lucky with these because I am an eBay, um, I, I'm a frequent eBay user. Uh, you know, if something costs less on eBay, I buy it. I sell a lot of stuff on eBay, okay? And, uh, you know, I, I basically, they, they try to cross sell you on a lot of things and I take advantage of all of them. Okay, first and foremost, if you're not signed up for eBay bucks, go do it. What are you waiting for? I, and I realize this is US only. But it's basically free money if you're going to buy stuff on eBay anyway. Now, not all silver and gold bullion uh, qualify for eBay bucks, but you know, believe it or not, some of the stuff is uh, miscategorized and it qualifies for eBay bucks. So things that you wouldn't normally think, uh, you actually get eBay bucks on. It depends on what the seller is willing to do. Now, typically, uh, somebody like Atmex isn't going to do that, but private sellers generally will. Okay, that, so that's always something to look out for. So I certainly have eBay bucks. So let's see. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the my eBay page. <coughs> excuse me. And you want to click on account. Okay? And we'll make sure first of all that you're even set up to uh, to receive these emails. So, right over here, I don't have any kind of screen capture. All right, so right here, you'll see a communication preferences. Okay? So go ahead and click on that on the my account. Now, if you scroll down, under uh, all the way down to promotions and surveys and click show which is on the right here you'll see uh, let's see general email promotions so you're basically allowing eBay to send you emails about what's new and hot on eBay great deals discount coupons which is what you're interested in and other special offers okay make sure that that box is checked if it's not checked that may be part of the reason why you're not receiving any emails like that. Okay, so go ahead and check that box. Now I want to show you um, really quick why this will be a good deal. Now it's not as good of a deal typically with silver. I noticed um, a lot of the buy it now auctions on silver are uh, priced a little bit higher than what you'll see at normal bullion dealers, and you know the 10% off pretty much just brings you in line with buying from. Um, in Atmix or Provident Metals anyway. So let's see, one ounce gold maple leaf. <coughs> okay, but if you're, if you're talking about gold, you can get a fractional gold for spot, which is something that I recently did. I, I chose to get a fractional coin uh, that was a bit more of a premium typically, and I got it for spot. Or, if you want to get a uh, like a one ounce maple leaf, you'll actually get it for below spot. Right now, gold is about thirteen hundred, and you can see that the the um, the ten percent off coupon goes to a max of hundred dollars, so it'll bring you down to twelve eighty two shipped to your door. Okay, so that's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's it's actually great to get gold below spot. Now this price is right in line with what you would see on their website. Okay, I went over to their uh, one ounce Canadian gold maple random year, and if you look right here. It's at 1382. Okay, so basically it's the same price whether it's on eBay or Atmex. The difference is you would actually pay for shipping on Atmex, whereas on their eBay store you'd be getting it shipped to your house for free. Okay, so that's a obviously a pretty important distinction. Okay, so I, I told you that I like to play uh, eBay's reindeer games. Okay, um, basically one thing that they're really pushing is bill me later. Any auction that you go to, you're going to see this, okay? And it's basically their version of like an e-credit card, okay? Uh, 
you ba everything is done online. I actually don't get any paperwork or anything. And um, this is something that they're, they're really hoping that a lot of their uh, users will migrate to, just like they did PayPal, okay? And Bill Me Later is actually a division of PayPal. And uh, right now, and I know this isn't a huge deal, but when you sign up for an account and you make a purchase, you get $15 back on your first purchase when you check out with PayPal and choose Bill Me Later, okay? So th there's a decent little offer there. Now, big disclaimer, uh, you know, make sure that you use this responsibly, make sure you have the cash to back it up. What they typically do is they will, uh, they will bill you after about a month to 40 days. They give you a little bit of a free ride with the money, okay? And if the, if the usually um, the promotion that they've been running for quite a while now is if you buy something over $99, you have six months to pay. Anything over $500, you have a year to pay. I don't really recommend that. I mean, I, I get it. It's a free ride for a long time, um, but it's also debt, right? So I, that's not, I mean, look, use it however you want. Uh, but my take is that by using more of eBay's products, you will actually, uh, they, they'll look at you as somebody they want to they court your business, okay? So I, that's something that I do. I use their eBay bucks. I use PayPal. I use Bill Me Later. I buy and I sell. Now, what about when... Uh, you kind of wait them out a little bit, okay? I noticed on my last buy that I, I bought a small item that I'll be doing an unboxing on, and literally, I mean, I haven't bought anything in, in months on eBay, okay? And literally, as soon as I made this purchase, the 10% off coupon showed up in my, uh, on my eBay page, okay? Uh, so what I think happens, too, is if you, if you wait enough time between purchases, I think they try to court your business, uh, and I think that's what they did here. So once I got that 10% off coupon, I made another purchase. So it, it's a show them that you're a good, reliable customer. Use all of their services. And also every now and then, starve them out. Um, I, I think that, that's what really worked for me. I've gotten, I, I believe it's three of these coupons now in the last six months. So that's a pretty good success rate. Um, may, it may have been about seven months. But um, still, I, that's, that's not too bad. And I've been able to take advantage of it a couple times, and one time I gave it to a friend. So um, everything, and understand, look, this could be completely random. I mean, I might be just be completely talking out of my butt here. I understand that, please. Um, but I, I really feel that, you know, if you use eBay um, the way that they want you to use it, and, uh, and wisely, okay, um, I, I think they'll be more aggressive at offering you promotions to make sure that they keep your business because you're the type of customer that they're targeting. You're the one using all of their services. Okay, so um, that's basically my my theory. Uh, give me give me a let me know what you think if I'm full of it or not. And uh, all right, I'll talk to you later.